let's run through all the other states of the East, starting with Jharkhand, where much has been happening. Chief Minister Hemant Soren arrested a few days ago. How is it playing out in the polls as per Yashwan's mood of the nation? 2024 projection, NDA 56% up 1. India Alliance 30% down 5. Others 14. In terms of seats, NDA 12. India 2, same as 20. Uh, 19 round. Next, let's Chhattisgarh. come now to Chhattisgarh. Uh, in Chhattisgarh, India Today AC voter projecting that the BJP's vote share will go up from 51 to 54. They won the recent uh, assembly elections, and on the back of that, their vote share is actually going up. The Congress's vote share was at 41 in the last elections. That could now come down 3 percent to 38. When converted into seats, uh, the Congress had two seats last time round that could come down to one. Uh, the BJP had nine seats last time round that could go to ten. So Chhattisgarh, the BJP doing well and holding on to its gains from the last election. That's right. The honeymoon effect clearly there in Chhattisgarh. Let's turn to a state which is again fascinating because there will be Lok Sabha and Vidhan Sabha in the state of Odisha. 2024 projection NDA. 40% uh, vote share, that's plus 2. India, 12%. Naveen Patnaik's BJD at 41%, down 2%. How is this all translating into seats? Virtually, again, a repeat of what we are seeing in, uh, 20, in 2019. In fact, a slight jump for the BJP. 10 seats up 2. The India Alliance, mainly the Congress there, is getting 0, down 1. And the Biju Jatta, the 11 down one. So clearly, again, all these states are almost repeating 2019. In fact, state after state, Rahul, if you look at the map of India, in many of the states, it's a repeat of 2019. Is there a way of looking at these numbers, Yashwan, and giving our viewers some insights into what may happen in an assembly context in Orissa? Because like Andhra, Orissa two polls at the same time. Orissa, there is a very clear split vote. There is an upswing for the BJP as far as the Lok Sabha voting is concerned. But as far as the assembly voting is concerned, it is clearly the Naveen Patnaik BJD way. Assam. Sure. Assam. Uh, let's look at the seat shares for Assam. Last time, the BJP had nine seats. That could go up to 12. Remember, Assam is 14 seats. The Congress and the AIUDF was at three. That could now come down to two. That's down one. So Assam, BJP consolidating its leads and gains. Let's now look at the overall East seat share. Uh, if you look at the 153 seats and if I look at the vote shares, 47% of the vote for the NDA, 37% for the India Alliance. When converted into seats in the East of India, 103 seats for the NDA, 38 for the India Alliance, 12 for the others. And I think this is a story. You know, while we focused a lot on the BJP's dominance in North India, its dominance in Western <coughs> India, it is in the east that the sun is rising, the lotus is beginning to bloom, particularly when you include a Bihar and the northeast. I'm presuming Yashwan's included all the states of the northeast, the Manipur's, uh, the Nagaland. No, so we will spend time on each of the northeastern yeah. states, so just so that people know. Uh, we're we're going to go into a break, show you the national big picture, but we're going to spend time on each of the northeastern states as well.